Hi everybody, it's Adam Keeley here. Just wanted to give a quick demonstration of my ghost trap. The uh, kit for the ghost trap uh, is the Nicotron Mark III kit. Um, now the Nicotron Mark III kit is a really simple kit to put together. Um, it consists of the, the main box, a separate handle, the three side plates and the barograph um, housing at the front here. Uh, oh, and a, a, a cover for the bottom. Um, a very simple kit to put together. There's no moving parts, so it's essentially a stunt trap. Uh, so the doors don't open, the wheels, I'll show you in a second, are, are moulded in. Um, but it's an excellent trap, an excellent kit, really highly detailed. Um, and I would certainly recommend the kit to, to anyone who wants to build a, a ghost trap. Um, very reasonably priced as well. So check it out on Nicotron's website. Um, he sells these, he also sells more detailed kits with uh, opening doors etc as well if you want to go that far. Now we've tricked this, uh, this trap out quite a lot um, with uh, electronics and even a, a smoking effect and I'll show you those in a second. Let's just show you some close-up uh, detail of the trap itself. So there's the top view, the uh, barograph housing. We did have to make the, uh, the hole for the barograph a little wider for the particular barograph kit that I, uh, I elected to have. The, uh, obviously the whole thing is painted. The yellow stripes, exactly the same as the movie, are yellow insulation tape, just layered up and, uh, and applied. The handle is attached um, to the, the, the solid mould, which uh, this stalk is part of, by a solid bolt going down, down through the middle. Uh, the side plates, this is all uh, resin cast. The side plates um, come as a solid lump, uh, with the exception of this uh, dial which we had to attach. Uh, all the screws are, are fake, this is just, just glued on. Same for the front, these are all fake and moulded in. Um, again, all resin cast, these were separate, everything else is moulded in. Uh, the stickers you'll see around the trap are the GB fans, sticker sets. All these individual components are hand painted. I'll show you the back. And again, the sticker set from GB Fans and the genuine Fisher connector for the uh, for the cable. And underneath, we've got the V hook for hooking it to the belt. The moulded in wheels, uh, sticker, and a little control panel on this side, which I'll show you briefly. Um, you'll see me operating these in a moment from from, around the, from the top. Uh, we've got one marked L, which is for light, and one marked V, uh, which is for vape. And you'll see what happens in a second when I set those off. So that's the physical construction of the trap. Um, as I said, we've got an electronics um, suite in here, which is uh, the lighting suite. Uh, the lighting suite comes from Jupiter Electronics over in the States. Um, consists of the barograph, there's a controlling circuit board inside, uh, switch, red light. There's actually a, a white light which we've mounted inside as well. So if we switch that on you can see the barograph illuminate and the red light starts flashing and the barograph will go through a little filling and emptying sequence. When it's full the red light goes steady, barograph flashes for a bit. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. If you look inside there's actually a white light inside that lights up. Now the, uh, the, the reason you can see the light is because we've actually cut this slit down the middle. This isn't there as part of the, uh, the kit, we had to do that ourselves. Um, and we did that because we've actually fitted a homemade smoke machine into the, cat, into the trap. Um, in the movies you'll remember when they come out of the, uh, the ballroom in the first movie and outside of the, uh, the, the courtroom in the second movie, um, when they catch a ghost, smoke comes billowing out the top of the trap. Uh, we've actually made a smoke machine out of an e-cigarette atomizer and an aquatic pump, all wired in and connected 
to a battery and the switch I showed you earlier. So if I turn the, uh, the smoke machine on, makes a little bit of noise, it's not too bad. After a few seconds you might just start to see a few little wisps of smoke leaking out of the top. And uh, once that's been going for a little while, I'll turn it off. And I'll turn the light. Now the light is an LED white strip going under, directly underneath this, uh, this slit here. It's only a few millimeters underneath. And I've actually wired in a PC fan into there as well to evacuate the smoke like this. And you can see it starts billowing out. This is very effective. Um, works in in wind, in outside, inside, in any lights, very very effective. The smoke as you can see is quite heavy which is why I needed to fit the PC fan in there to get some air movement to, uh, to get the smoke coming out. Um, it also means that the smoke settles on the kit itself in these little recesses um, which is very very effective. If I tilt the, uh, the trap you can see the lights, the LED lights inside shining through. Very effective in the dark. Um, you actually get a blade of light coming through the uh, the smoke. And of course, the idea would be that you'd hold it up as if you just caught a ghost, and the smoke would be billowing out. So there we are, that's the uh, demonstration of the trap. Um, I'll just cut to um, show you the internals of the trap. I'll turn it upside down and show you what's inside. This thing is crammed with uh, components to make this thing work. Um, so I'll just open it up and show you the inside. Okay, so I've unscrewed the, uh, the lid for the underneath of the trap. Uh, we've used these Ancree screws, um, which we didn't come with the kit. Um, and I've added the, uh, the holes and the threads to put that into. Uh, so this whole lid comes off and I'll show you what comes, what we've put inside the trap. Now you can see why I didn't want the doors to open on this particular kit. There is no room left inside and if the doors were to open uh, you would see all of this gubbins inside. Um, so I'll give you a quick tour. We've got the battery packs at the top here. Um, it's powered by, we've got two 9 volt batteries and one um, set of three AA batteries over this side. Um, one of the 9 volts powers the, the LED lights in the bottom and the PC fan. I'll show you all these components in a second. Um, another 9 volt powers the smoke machine. Um, I beg your pardon, the other 9 volt powers the uh, Jupiter Electronics Barograph. Uh, lighting kit and it's the double A's that power the the smoke machine. Um, so the the LEDs, the white LEDs that you saw shining through underneath the uh, the trap doors um, is mounted to this piece of uh, plastic at the bottom here. Uh, the plastic on the other side, on the, the trap door side, is curved um, to give it a bit more of a, a stretch and get as much light through the holes as possible. Um, and that's wired into the same circuit. This is the uh, the switch over here, the light switch, which powers the PC fan, which I've mounted here. If I just turn that on, you should be able to see that on there. The light lights up, and the PC fan, I'll bring it a bit closer, begins to spin. Turn it off, and that stops. Uh, PC fan was very cheap and easy, just a quick thing I picked up from, uh, from Maplin. Um, the smoke machine, which uh, I'm sure you all want to know how we did this. Um, we've got an e-cigarette atomizer. Um, in fact, I've got one here to show you. Uh, literally a few quid off of eBay. Very quick and easy. You bog standard cheap um, e-cigarette atomizer. That's all it is, just mounted. We've got a, a, a clip here, um, custom made a connector which makes the, the positive and negative connections inside 
the atomizer and just positioned inside the trap so that it points down in towards the doors. Um, just encourages the smoke to gather at the top of the trap rather than sinking too much to the bottom. So the power, obviously via the switch, the power goes into the, uh, the atomizer and heats up the coils inside. Um, and then we have this aquatic pump over here um, which has a tube, an air tube, going into the back of the connector and through the atomizer. So the, the atomizer coils are powered and heated and vaporizing the, uh, the vapor juice inside and the pump is pushing air through the atomizer from the back into the, into the, uh, into the trap and the smoke fills up very very quickly um, inside there. And I'll just show you that how it fills up from the inside so I'll hold it a bit closer you can see if I switch it on. There we are. So you can see it doesn't mess about, it fills up that space very, very quickly. Let's get rid of that smoke. Now, for fairly obvious reasons, I'm not using your box standard vape juice. Um, it is e-cigarette vape juice, but it's this stuff. It's uh, it's from Liquid, which is a British company, um, and it's flavorless, and it's zero nicotine. So it is essentially just really good smoke juice. Um, there's no noxious chemicals or anything that's going to be dangerous in there, so that's nice and easy. No, there's no funny smells, um, and obviously no nicotine, so there's no no real danger to health in there, so quite pleased I found that. Very cheap and lasts forever. I've got about five bottles of these. I've been playing with this for several weeks, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's barely even half half empty. So it does last quite a while. Um, the trap itself, especially the uh, smoke machine, does eat up through eat through the batteries quite quickly. Um, so that's something I need to be a little careful of, and you'll need to be careful of if you want to try and replicate this. Um, the only other thing to show you is if you can see at the bottom there. That's the circuit board for the barograph and the uh, red light from Jupiter Electronics. Okay, so that's it. That's my ghost trap. Um, I'll pop it together and do another quick demonstration for you. Um, and that's it. So there you have it, my Ghostbusters ghost trap uh, with the smoke, movie accurate lights. Um, just a quick summary, the kit is the Nicotron Mark III kit. Just look up Nicotron on uh, Google, you'll find it straight away. Uh, the Barograph and lighting kits are from Jupiter Electronics. And the uh, smoke machine is self-made from an atomizer and aquatic pump. Uh, if you enjoyed this, leave me a comment, leave me a like, um, let me know what you thought. Any questions, uh, please let me know. And if you've got any ideas for anything I can do in the future, um, please give me a shout. Look up my blog, it's uh, www.adamkearley.com. That's uh, A-D-A-M-K-E-A-R-L-E-Y dot com. Thank you very much for watching.